Trying to force your memory hour after hour for weeks on end isn't going to get you anywhere. I can't just sit around waiting for it to happen. Everyone that I meet, everywhere I go, every shop, every street, I wonder, do I know this place? I think, could this man know who I am? You mustn't ask yourself these questions. Forget about them. I can't forget them. It's like... Eight months ago, I was born in that clinic. The one where I woke up. It's depressing. The human mind is a mysterious organ, Peter. And you've got to relax it. Don't torture it. You shouldn't try to force it into revealing the past to you. And in a few months or so, you'll get total recall again. Sure. Easier said than done. I get up every morning, and I go to work, and I eat, and I sleep. But who am I, Doc? Who, who, who? The man who had a bad car accident. There must be something else. Don't I have at least a few friends, a family, somebody? Of course you have, Peter. Hi, Doc. Ted! Am I supposed to know this man, Doctor? Well, you should, yes. How do you do? Oh, it's me, Philip. Well, don't you remember me? Before we talk of other things, who the hell am I? <coughs> I'll tell you who you are. You're a dirty son of a double-crosser, a two-bit con artist who thinks he can pretend that he's lost his memory. <coughs> well, I'll get it back for you. No, hold it. Hold on. Ah. <laughs> Got it back already, have you? No. You may not believe me, but it's the truth. Look, tell me everything from the beginning. It might help. I don't believe you, but we'll do it your way. Well, you say my name is Ted, but I've got a passport that says my name is Peter Smith. Hmm. 
So you even had yourself a passport forged, did you? Where were you planning to go? Philip, I woke up over eight months ago in a clinic. And before that, before that, the past is a mystery. All right, buddy. Your name is Ted Walden, and you were born 30 years ago, here in jolly old England at Brockhurst in Kent. You lived here, on the continent, and in New York. You got married two years ago to an American. Married? Are you sure about that? Yeah. Where's my wife, then? In Portofino, Italy, where you left her. I saw what you did. You should be ashamed. But you should have under breaststroke, and you was doing the crawl. That does not justify pushing him under the way you did. That was disgraceful. Well, he should have under breaststroke. Two wrongs don't make a wrong. He did the first wrong. It doesn't wrong. make any difference. Now go and get changed. You do not turn me around. I'm not your son. In fact, I'm your fiancé. Wait for me outside, and I'll take you home. And next time, make sure everyone does the breaststroke. But you bet he will come. Cinque, quattro, tre, due, uno. Sorry, late again. We could have done all right without you. <laughs> Don't start that business again. Climb aboard. Portofino next stop. Thanks. Did you have a lot of work today? Not really. <laughs> Bunkrunch is every working winner when there are skiers around. Wish you were right, Othello. Mm. 
Luca, Luca, I've already told you must mustn't calm your tail. You always do. I'm sick of it. He's only joking, darling. Now get in the car. No, I'll take a bus. I prefer it. Hey, come on, get in. <laughs> Hurry up or you'll get left behind. You know, Luca, I appreciate you letting me give your girl a she's ride home. She's not my girl, but she's not your cedar. Oh, Luca, you little rascal. <laughs> Around the rocky rocks, the, the ragged rascal ran. ran. <laughs> so one has to be rude to get a kiss from you, Sarah, huh? No, you have to be ten years old. How about a song, Luca? <laughs> parole, parole, parole. Parole, parole, parole. <laughs> Thank you for the ride home, sir. You really are an angel. So, have I earned a drink? Angels are incorrigible drunks, you know. I'm a teetotaling. The word is teetotaler, Professor. Mm. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Luca. I know when I know on it. I think you'd better go on home, too. Why? Well, I've got some things to do around the house. I've heard that one before. All right, tomorrow at 10, but don't be late. I have some bone crunching to do, as your fiancé calls it. <laughs> at 10, then. You're not jealous of Luca, I hope. Do I have the right? Ciao, Reinhardt. Ciao, Sada. Sada. If you're afraid to be alone in the house, I could stay with you for a while. No, I'll be all right, thanks. You live next door, so I can scream for help through the window if I need it. <sighs> Good night, Luca. <sighs> Nonna! Nonna! Luca, go and wash. We'll be eating in a minute. Oh, sorry, baby. I forgot all about you. <laughs> and you want to go out? Hmm. Come on, then. Five minutes in the garden. There you go. I'll leave the door open.
whiskey. What are you doing under there? What's wrong, huh? You're behaving very badly tonight. You've had supper. What is it? You want a drink, hmm? All right. We'll go get a drink, hmm? Whiskey. Did you check all the house, senora? Yes. Nothing's missing, not a thing. It's all just thrown around. Nothing was taken. Hmm. Like a month ago. It seems to me somebody just likes to mess up your house for you. The only difference is I wasn't in last time. But you admit, you left the door open, senora. Right, but I do that often. The strange thing about it is obviously not a thing. So what do you call someone who sneaks in, attacks me, kicks the dog, and destroys the house? A gentleman? No, naturalmente. Ah. I'll have the house watch for a while. Vittorio, when you finish, put this on the cover. Don't leave it on the table. Very good, signora. Oh, dear. Sorry. Excuse me. Buongiorno. Good morning. Ciao. How are you? Fine, only I sure hate this weather. I've never known Two. such a rainy May. Would you like a coffee? <laughs> Love one. How about seeing a film tonight? That's a good idea. What's showing? I don't know. We can find something. We can go to Genoa if necessary. All right. A telegram for you, senor. For me? Oh. Here, I'll take it. Thank you, please. Is it bad news, Sarah? No. It's for my husband. It's a bit surprising, that's all. Oh, what does he say? He's coming back here to join me. He's been away nearly a year. Disappeared in London. And now this. Arriving today at 3.30, meet train if you can, Ted. You want to be there, I suppose. I 
feel confused, Reinhardt. I'm angry at him as well, but I still want to see him and talk to him. You once said you hoped you'd never see him again. Yes, I know you're right. Only you know how a woman reacts when a man's left her. And I realize I want to see him. Reinhardt, I'd rather be alone for this. Do you mind? Yeah. Be better. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. I get the very distinct impression that you're still in love with him. still standing at the top of the stairs. Hmm. Sarah? I can't believe it. You simply look straight through I me. Explain, I might as well Sarah, be a total stranger. Listen. I have amnesia. I don't I had want a car to hear... accident. This is some kind of an excuse. Really, I've been ill for months. I can explain. Can we go somewhere quiet? We'll go to my house. You said a car accident. That's right. It's nice to find I have such a beautiful wife. <laughs> oh. And that's how they found me, in the wreckage of the car. It was rented in the name of Peter Smith. My name. At least that's what it says in the passport. And the police did a lot of research, but they couldn't come up with anything. Peter Smith, stateless, no parents, no friends, and that's all I really know. Well, to start with, your name's Edward Walden. Ted, to your friends. We met in New York a year and a half ago at the Guggenheim. And we both fell for each other. Love at first sight mean anything? No. A week after we met, we flew off to London and got married there. But in London, I... We didn't see very much of each other. I spent all day alone in the hotel while you were off somewhere working. Ah, uh, what kind of work was I doing? I don't know. You never told me about what you were doing. It was secret. I only know... Well, you appeared to have a lot of interest in antiques. Nothing more? Nothing more. A month later, I came here to Portofino, knowing that within a week or so, you'd join me. We'd arranged with Peggy Cole to rent her house for a couple of years. Ted, you knew Peggy. She's an old friend of mine, remember? You met her in London. You just disappeared then. Flew into the sunset. I never heard anything more of her. But who am I? And what am I? A dirty, rotten bastard. Well, everyone seems to agree on that. Don't know. Ah, ciao, Reinhardt. Yes, fine, thanks. Yes. All right. Good night. Yes, and thanks, Reinhardt. Don't worry about him. He's just a friend. I teach swimming now, and he's a doctor at the sports center. Quite a few people have called me a dirty, rotten bastard. Is that how I was in this photo? No, but that was taken only three days after our marriage. Then why did you leave it out? 
Loneliness is no fun. Are you telling me? You knew where I was. Why did you take so long before sending me this telegram? What telegram? It wasn't me who sent you this. I should get away from here then, immediately. Why? Because this means they've arranged our meeting. And whoever they are, they're killers. So you see, it's really safer for both of us to separate again. No, stay here. I... I'd be frightened alone. There's a spare room upstairs where you could sleep, Ted, and you're welcome to use that, but at least until... Until? Maybe I never will get better again. You know what my doctor said? That it's me who doesn't, doesn't want to remember anything. Of course I've tried, but it's useless, Sarah, and the more I try, the worse it gets, or at least no better. The doctor says I'm scared, scared of what I'd remember. impression of something. Then the image just faded. You bought it for me in London as a wedding gift. It was so expensive and I thought you were totally crazy. But you insisted on getting it. You said that it was a symbol of good fortune. That it would keep our love secure for always. I guess I was wrong. I'm not so sure. We might try beginning at the top. Really? Is that what you want? All right. As from tomorrow, I begin courting you. And I'll sweep you off your feet again like I did in New York. <laughs> All right? You want a drink? Yes, give me some port. Port, huh? I should have known what to give you, right? No. Up until the time you disappeared, I never drank. Then the loneliness got to me and I began to drink a little port every now and then. Here. Yeah. Ted, listen. I truly, truly want to, well, believe your story. But I'm a dirty, rotten bastard. And I might be pretending I've lost my memory. Is that why you want me to stay here? To keep an eye on me? To find out if I'm lying? My God, no! No! I asked you to stay here because I really want us to... Well, I... Oh, you shouldn't have to ask such questions. This is Whiskey. And he's my best friend. Good fella, you put on a bit of weight. All right, off you go. The trouble is they eat too much pasta. The trouble is that I love pasta. <laughs> well, take care. Once it's on, it's very difficult to take it off. Met each other yet? Daniel, nice to meet you. Sarah's talked a lot Thank about you. you. Nothing the bad, character. I hope. No, you no. catch cold. You came down sir. from London. Uh, that's right. I... I know. You ran on the train yesterday afternoon, right? That's right, yes. Who are you? You mean Sarah doesn't talk about me? I'm Luke. Oh, now, Sarah. You didn't tell me about Luca. Can I take whiskey for a walk? Yes, he'd like that. Sure. But don't let him run too much, will you? Well, now. Hey, aren't you going to get dressed? 
Uh, yes, of course. I won't take a minute. Tell my wife I'll wait for her outside. the same old violent Ted. Why are you following me? Still playing that game, huh? I'm George. You can stick your hand in your pocket until you've answered my question. Well, we were real good buddies once. Before you uh, went and lost your memory. That's the point. It's the truth, George. That's why I've got to ask questions. Was it you who arranged for me to come here? I guess you could say that. Look, Ted, quit playing the amnesia act. It'll go better for both of us if we make a deal. You've given me half an answer. Try not to be so vague about it. Look, Ted, Philip didn't go for the story of your amnesia. He believed you were just a bastard trying to screw us. And what do you think? I'm inclined to believe you're a bastard who, having already screwed us, bashed his head and can no longer remember how it was he screwed us. But Philip didn't agree. And you murdered the man for this? I was saving your life, buddy. Hmm. Thanks a million. It's beginning to make sense. He could have killed you. You're saying After that... After he got the information... I was once a part of your group. Yeah, you sure were. You were the key to the whole operation, and we ain't gonna let you get away with it. Get away with what? One million dollars, Ted. And it's up to me to collect it, or I'm a dead duck. Listen, if you're telling the truth, then I want to know all of it. Details, everything. The whole story. It is the truth, and I'll tell you the whole story soon. Oh, look, you better have this. Hmm. I'd burn the other one if I were you. Peter Smith. Left a corpse in London. Ah, so it was you who sent me that uh, false passport. Oh, no. You had that one made to double-cross us. Ted! Ted! Run along. See if your lovely wife can help. I'll kill you if you even try to bring Sarah into this. Well, that's a good start. You're getting back into character again. Ted, what happened? I've been waiting a quarter of an hour. I'm sorry, darling. Well, where were you? I went for a walk and got lost.
This is the most beautiful place in the world. We talked about it all the time in London. Remember? No, of course you don't. Even more beautiful is that we're here together. Oh, it wouldn't matter where we were. What's important is being with you. Being together again is a completely new experience. It's difficult to explain, but... Well, your face is the face of the man I loved. You have his body, his hands, but it's only a... a shell that covers someone I... I don't really know in your personality. Do you like him? <laughs> Let's say I don't dislike him. No, not yet, Ted. I'm sorry. That was stupid of me. I forgot that you probably have a romantic attachment here, and I guess it's natural enough. Who are you thinking of, Reinhardt? Well, it's nearly a year that you haven't shown the slightest concern for me. That's a bit unfair of you. There's no one else, Ted. No one to worry about. I admit I'd gone around with Reinhardt for months. But he's a friend, that's all. A good friend, and I needed him. I'm glad that you haven't been alone. But maybe now that I'm here, you won't need anybody else but me. I want you to get well, to start remembering again. But I want you to stay as you are, as the person you are now. You've got to admit Whiskey. that Tonelli plays a very good game. He is Whiskey! And sometimes brilliant. See, but he is a prima donna. So what? He may be a prima donna, but he's coarse, and that's the main thing. Hey, Luca, where are you off to? I've lost whiskey. Well, don't worry. Maybe he went home by himself. I know, but he may have been run over by a car. Hey, calm down, Luca. It was just an idea. Best on whatever it is. Oh, very smart. All right, Luca. Let's go look for him. I don't know what came over me. I expect it was all that blood. I don't think it was that. What was it you remembered? What was it? Nothing. 
I got a cramp. I react to blood that way. If you don't trust me, we shouldn't be together, Ted. I think I saw a killing. What do you mean? A killing? I got this image. That I was watching a man's throat being cut. May I come in? Signora, look, he's worried. Whiskey disappeared. Somebody killed him, Sergeant. Cosa? He's upstairs on the bed. No, Luca. You stay down here. He ran away. It wasn't Don't my fault. Luca. My husband, Sergeant. How do you do? Pleasure. You're not to worry about it. It wasn't your fault, Luca. A crazy person well, did it. Well, call me if I can help at all, won't you, Sarah? You're already being a help, Luca, just by being a good friend. All I can tell you, Signora, is that they cut his throat with a very sharp instrument, most probably a razor. It has to be the work of a sadist or a madman, I think. No one in their right mind would do a thing like that. Do you want me to dispose of the body? No. I'd rather bury him in the garden. Poor Whiskey. He was such a sweet dog. Always trusting and friendly. They're getting at me through you. That's why they killed him. I warned him not to do it. Well, now the bastard will pay. <laughs> Stay in the house. Take it easy, baby doll. I'm a friend of your husband's. Get out. Or I'll start screaming. I mean it. Why? I just came by to visit for a while. That's all. You see, I want to help Ted. Why? Well, it's like this. If he doesn't get any help, then he'll be dead one week from this evening. He and I together. And if you're going to be killed, a week becomes the equivalent of half a minute. What do you mean? Somebody's going to kill Ted? Ah, no, no, no. No yelling or poof, I'll go. No, don't go, please. I won't yell again. Tell me about it, will you? Fair enough. Ted has to pay off a debt. Directly to me. And if he doesn't pay me, then I can't pay the others. These others have been very patient and waited eight months already. And now they've run out of patience. You want money? You should have said so earlier. How much does he owe you? 
A million dollars. <laughs> now, how on earth could Ted ever come up with a million dollars? Here, in his head. It's all in his head. Now, he says he can't remember. Whether it's true or not isn't important at all. What is important is that he gives me the cash or the merchandise or tells me where he's hidden it, at least. His memory's a blank, it's true. He really is very ill. He, he didn't recognize me even when he came here. Well, if he's ill, he's got seven days to get better again. I wanted to tell you exactly how things were in the hope that you can help him to get back to normal. Help him to remember what he's forgotten. Help him stay alive. Because I warn you, Sarah, before they killed me, I cut his throat and yours. The same as my dog. Don't tag me with that one, honey. I don't kill dogs. My hassle is with two-legged animals. Our mutual friend says there's at least one thing you should remember. New York. New York? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes. It's in America, isn't it? Two names and an address in New York. Hmm. Uh, I just can't remember. You've got to try, please. Who's this mutual friend? If I end up telling you everything, what's the point? Nothing, I guess. But who knows? It might be helpful to have a few of the answers. My job is just to give you a message. Think about New York. I saw this man I know, but uh, I never did find him. Why have you been so long? I chased him as far as the port and he disappeared, so I searched around. Who was it? The fellow who got me over here. One who was at the station. One who says his name's George. What does he want from you? Oh, beyond me. Something to do with my past, probably. Why don't we go away from here? To New York, for example? Yes, or London. Any city with a few million people to hide in. I can't.
Sarah, oh, what's, Dad. What's wrong? Dad. What's the matter? Someone Sarah? was in here and I... What is it? I... It's all right now. I'm here. Was it really necessary to kill him? <laughs> That's a silly question where a million dollars is involved. <laughs> you had the right idea, Sarah. We've got to get out of here. Yes, good. Try the Soldano now. And, uh, when are you leaving? couple of days. Why bottom? Well, Ted has to leave. And a woman goes where her husband goes, Luca. Bullshit. Hey, now, let's try to be a little pleasant. Huh? What language, Luca? <laughs> and um, have you made any plans for tomorrow in the afternoon? Nothing in particular. Have you, Sarah? I'll go to the pool. That way I can say goodbye to everyone. Excuse me, sir. There is a man at the bar who wishes to speak with you. I'll be back in a second, I hope. I don't understand. He said he was going to wait here. Who? The senor dressed in blue? See, si. He went into the toilet. Thank you. Please. You're welcome. What happened to bring us up? Ted has to leave, that's all. For how long? I don't know. You should understand by now. She's in love with her husband, no? You stay out of this. I just thought maybe you didn't understand. Um, where are you going? To America. Probably New York. But we haven't decided. Let's quit kidding around. There's stuff. Where is it, buddy? What stuff? I don't want to hear any more of your smart wisecracks. Or I'll put a slug in your amnesia. My patience is stretched as far as it'll go. If you'd left the stuff hidden anywhere in London, you wouldn't have come here, not even if you'd received a telegram from the President of the Republic. Right. So that means the stuff's here. And to bring it over here, there's only one person you would have trusted it with. Only one. Your wife, Ted. Now, who gets it first, your wife or you, buddy? Let's recap a minute. You say I've hidden this stuff worth a million dollars. Exactly what is it, George? A string of sausages full of pure heroin. Oh. Huh. Fifteen pounds of hard merchandise that'll fetch us at least a million in New York. That much, huh? So what happened? All the usual mess. They couldn't make a decision, but I guess it'll work out. Morning. Morning. Can't you influence them? Influence that badge? Not a hope. And besides, it's not that important to me. So why should I waste my time? This is terrible news, Sarah. It was a very sudden decision. It was quite a shock even for me. I'm sorry. Such a pity. You got on so well with the children. They all love you. Oh, please, would you say goodbye to them for me? I hate parties. Reinhardt, hi. I came by as usual to pick you up. Could be the last time. Who knows? I'll be ready in a minute. Fine. Was I very long? Ah, no time at all. The Guinness Book of Records may even accept it. <laughs> I parked in the piazza. Listen, I don't want to lose contact with you. Will you send me your address in America? Sure. As soon as we're through moving around. Hmm. Hmm. Darn it. 
Have you got any cigarettes with you? No, I hardly ever carry. Why don't you check in your bag? Maybe I we'll know be lucky. I don't. Well, I'll have to go get some. Do you mind waiting while I? Oh! 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 God! Uh, don't lose her. Just lie still. My God! What the hell are you sorry. doing? I checked in don't touch her. Before I backed up, but I didn't see anyone. What do you mean I you didn't so see sorry. anyone? We're not invisible. Take it easy, Sarah. Call a doctor. No, no, don't worry. I'm a doctor. Just help me up with her. Give I'm us a so hand, sorry. will you? Look, sure. anything I Lean on us. If you want oh, to let use me see my your car, insurance, it's, please. Uh, it's not too All bad. Right, Sarah. Yes. Open the door, please. Yes. Of course. But it's pretty painful, I must admit. Thank you. All right, oh. come on. Slowly. In you go. Uh, there we are. Sarah. Thank you. Uh, uh, sit down first. Uh, there. Here, Senora. Here thank we are. you very much. Well? Here are my insurance details. I'm sorry about You'd all this. You better put in a full report. Now move your car, please. Clean break of the tibia, dislocated kneecap. Well, it could have been worse, much worse. Right. And on the other hand, it could have been better. Ah, well, it depends on how you look at it. I feel we're lucky. I've seen the most terrible fractures caused by a simple fall. The main thing now is when are we going to be able to think about traveling? Oh, I think if you give the cast a couple of days to harden and, of course, take it easy, you'll be able to Wait, leave. Two more days. Mm, crutches and all. <laughs> and uh, that American girl, the one who was driving, what do we do about her? Ah, yes. Well, I've got all the insurance details, and I've got friends in the business who will take care of it. You won't even have to talk to her. I just can't imagine what we'd have done without you, Reinhardt. You would have found another bone cruncher to plaster your leg. Hey, let's have a little respect around here, young man. You want some more, darling? No, thank you. It's already gone oh, to my go hand. <laughs> I'd be drunk. You're not going anywhere. You can get as drunk as you like. Hello, Sky Insurance? Hmm. The manager, please. Yeah. Nice you know what they Sure, it's a leg. No, those are just painkillers. Not more than three a day. Right, right. The other things are vitamins and calcium to help the bone heal. Let's right, so hope we can get the same Pharmacy stuff in the States. Doesn't have Rayapidon. I'll give you an option. Can I come with you? Yes, yeah, sure, Luca. A chemist isn't too interesting. What's a chemist? An English pharmacy. <laughs> Ted? You didn't take any money along, did you, I bet? You bet wrong. Ted isn't here right now. Oh, I know. That's a beauty, ain't it? Tough luck, just when the two of you were planning to run off. If you'd made it, you might have lived a little longer, I guess. Now you're right back where you were with five days left. Just five short... <clears throat> five short days spent sitting right here. Look, my husband's never stolen anything from anyone. He's just a victim, a victim of this whole rotten affair. Don't you realize he'd tell you what you want to know if he could? He'll get around to it. Oh, be careful! No, please, what... What are you doing? You're mad! Better in the next five days. Because if he doesn't, as I told you, I'll cut both your throats. Uh, stop it! No more, please. What I want looks like a big string of sausages. Don't, a please. A big string of white sausages. Oh, please. Oh, God, no more. No. When I said I'm going to kill you in five days, I meant it. This is just the beginning. I want you Go to away. die little oh, by little. Please, please. No more. No I'm more. It's a little game, isn't it? I saw it in the film once. Very effective. Oh, uh, tell Ted I want to see him tomorrow. At that villa across the bay. At noon with the stuff. <laughs> yeah, in rugby you pass like this. <laughs> so now you know. See you tomorrow, Luca. And thanks for the company. Good night, Ted. Are you gonna make dinner this evening? Well, suppose I'll have to. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> you scared me for a second. Nonna! Sarah? Ted. What's wrong? He was here again. Who was here again? The one who says his name's George. 
He was here the other day. What do you mean, he was here before? Why didn't you tell me? I don't know, Ted. I don't know why I didn't. He wanted to talk, to see if I could find out anything, to ask you questions. It was quite nice that day. Then he came back today because he heard we were leaving. Tomorrow he wants you to come to the abandoned old villa across the bay, to be there at noon, and to bring along the stuff. How can I? Even if you can, you mustn't go. He'll kill you. I know he will. He's mad, Ted. Apart from that, the villa can be reached only by the one road, so he'll be able to see you long before you get there and ambush you. Come off it, Sarah. I'll be all right. I may have lost my memory, but I'm not stupid, darling. And I'm not as scared of George as he is of me, you know. It's just a bluff. It's a put-on. Look, if he's convinced I know where the stuff is, he won't kill me, you know. What would be the point? He'd enjoy it. Besides, he's already threatened to kill us if you don't give him the drugs. How do you plan to get the stuff out? Your suggestion yesterday was perfect. I got all your medicines, so you should start You taking... must remember where you've hidden it. Oh, I'm sorry, but... Sorry for what? I didn't want you to be involved in this in any way. And you've already been brought into it. And I'm sorry about that. It's something I've got to do alone. Just be careful. He's not fooling around, Ted. I know. I'll be right there. Uh, ciao, Luca. How are you? I'm very fine. I'm sorry I made you get up. Oh, don't worry. It's good exercise for the rest of me. And anyway, my leg doesn't hurt anymore. That's good. Give me that blanket, would you, Luca? Yeah, sure. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. What's that? My photographs. Your work, huh? Would you like to see? Yes, I sure would. Let's see. Where are they? Huh? It's upside down. Ah, here we are. Oh, that's a very pretty one. Hmm. I'm really surprised. You're very good, Luca. I don't know if you're taking those. It's better to make pictures when people don't know it. But why have you only got photographs of me? Later on, there are other people. <laughs> That's Reiner, too, so I can no longer say I'm always jealous. 
And anyway, I don't think you'll miss you like I will when you go away. Oh, really? What makes you think that? You'll see this picture, otherwise I won't say anything. It's a picture of him and a girl. A blonde girl. I say she looks American. <laughs> When did you take this? The other day. Remember we all ate lunch in a restaurant? Was it before I had the accident? Yes, while um, you were swimming, I took it. And then you went along to meet you. I'm right on time, George. I don't agree, Ted. You're eight months late. Put it back. Well, where's the stuff? I tried to think, George, but uh, all I get is a blank. You're never gonna get away with it, Ted. You ain't gonna leave me in a pile of shit. I think that crazy story you told me that you lost your memory is bull. But even if you weren't lying, you forget about one thing. If I gotta die, then first of all, I'm gonna kill you and that whore of a wife of yours. <laughs> He had to have a reason for not letting on that they knew each other. It's rather strange. I mean, why did they have to go through that act? As if they'd never seen each other. It shouldn't, but it worries me a bit. Hello, is this a Psy Insurance? This is Sarah Walden. I was knocked down two days ago. A car. A young lady. She was carrying your insurance. Mary Kane. Just a moment, please. What do you think is wrong? I am very sorry, Signora, but we have no Mary Kane listed. But that's impossible, really. Listen, a Dr. Langer went to your office yesterday. Uh, the x-rays of my leg for verification and a declaration signed by the other Signora. But he telephoned you in front of... He telephoned you in front of me. Thank you. A couple more minutes to say a prayer, Teddy. I swear to you, George, that if I really knew where I put that heroin, it'd be here now. But I can't remember that I've got to kill you. Back up. Go on. Come on, then. Kill me. Go ahead. You need help to pull a trigger? Just get up on the wall. By killing you, Ted, it's myself that I'm killing. But before they bury me, I'm going to kill your wife. <laughs> <laughs> to get it off. Because, Luca, I don't want anyone else touching her. I may be wrong, but then 
I may not be. I'll... Damn. What's the matter? Nothing, Luca. Nothing. Rest well, Ted. But who are you? I'm a mutual friend. Now that you've killed George, we can go to New York together. I have the stuff, and you have the name of the buyer. So we can split 50-50 as agreed. All right, all right. But in that case, let me loose. Patience, Ted, patience. You've just killed a man. And you say you've lost your memory. I don't want to run any risks. That doesn't mean a thing. Nobody saw me. Besides, it was self-defense. And as for remembering... I'll remember if I have to. You always were a clever son of a bitch. So tell me if you can remember. Who am I? Tell me my name and I'll untie you. Your name is that of a killer. Isn't that right? That's right. But you don't know it. So I'll come back later and we'll see how your memory's doing then. Oh. It's nothing, Luca. I'll fix it. Where's the alcohol? In the kitchen, I think. The right-hand cupboard. How do you plan to get the stuff out? Your suggestion yesterday was perfect. And then... Sarah can bring it over via Italy. My leg wasn't ever broken. of this clock is a perfect hiding place. The face of this clock is a perfect hiding place. Don't worry, I'll make the pickup when she arrives in Italy. And what happens if she doesn't want to do it? <laughs> That's another very stupid question, where a million is concerned. Clean this up, Luca. Here, take this home and hide Wait, it in one of your me? toys. And don't say anything to anyone, understand? I won't, Sarah. Sarah, you all right? Yes! I won't be a minute. I'm 
getting cold out here. Better. Luke is coming right away. He'll let you in. Let Reinhardt in and then go home, all right? I'll leave it open so I can get in again. Ah, so you lock yourself in with Sarah when I'm not around. That's my business. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao, Luca. <laughs> Hello there. You feeling better today? Much better. It doesn't hurt at all now. Ah, that's good. Did you have your injection? Yes, I must say, it made a world of difference, Reinhardt. Fine. Uh, You're a bit nervous uh, today. Where's Ted upstairs? Uh, no, he's not here. He had an appointment. Hmm. Uh, do you mind if I get something to drink? No, please do. It's been a tough morning at the clinic and I need it. What about you? Can I get you something? Sarah? Sarah, can I pour you a drink? Yes, thanks. A port. Hmm. It's a nice looking album. Uh, it's Lucas, but maybe uh, you shouldn't look at it. You should wait for Luca to show you, Reinhardt. You know how children are about their things. Ah, he won't mind if I look at it. Uh, well, uh, as long as I don't tell him, it won't matter, I guess. Uh, there's um, a lot out of focus. Tell me the truth. Come on, Sarah. Hmm? I really know anything. I get the impression that you do, though, so, so why don't you tell me? Well, let me ask you something first. Uh, would you mind if I came to New York with you? I mean, with you and Ted. I'd love to take a vacation. my glass. Uh, over there. Ah. There it is. Chin chin. Uh. All right, where'd you put it? I'm sorry about this. Don't make me ask again. Tell me where the stuff is. Oh, there's no alternative, Sarah. to use violence, but if I have to... Do you have a deal with Ted? That's right. Him and that girlfriend of yours in New York. Peggy. Peggy Cole. It can't be true. Peggy, Peggy Cole. Ah, I couldn't remember her name. Ted's me. 
meeting me soon. Come on, tell me. No, you're lying. Ted wouldn't make a deal with oh, you. Oh, yes, he did. You're lying. I know you are. Don't make me do it, Sarah. I will if I have to. Believe me. Sarah! Hey, next time before you come in, try knocking, huh? Is this all right? Uh, yes, that's perfect. Just put it down and run along. Go on, Luke. I'm discussing something that's rather private, so run along now like a good boy. Don't be upset, Luca. We're talking about something that really isn't for little boys to listen to. We're talking about marriage. Hmm? Uh, all right, I'll tell you where it is, damn you. It's hidden in that truck. Who were you going to call? I was going to call the police! The police, you bastard! <coughs> Do it, Sarah. You understand me? Uh, I can't afford to leave a witness around. Oh. Uh, happening you gone completely crazy if you kill her here then the police will have us before we can get even halfway to the airport so you got your memory back but now well everything's more complicated Ted why because she found it I guarantee you she won't say a word Reinhardt come on Sarah up you get don't sulk we plaster up your leg again We'll be on our way to Milan and then to New York. The three of us, all right? 
Don't be like that, Sarah. Sarah! I should have learned never to trust you. My past came back, and it's gone for good now. My husband had nothing to do with this. He's innocent. I'd be dead if he hadn't got here. Reinhardt tried to kill me. I found out he'd hidden drugs in a cast he put on my leg the other day, and... and... That's true about the drugs. I saw them. No. There's much more to the story than that, Sergeant. And I think we'd better have a long talk. <laughs> 